Hi everyone and welcome to the course. I'm Jeff Butts and this is Computer Science 101 Introduction to C++ Programming. The idea here is to teach you the properties of algorithms, languages, and notations for describing algorithms and the application of a procedure-oriented language to problem solving. Great. In plain English, this course is supposed to teach you how to develop a solution to a problem using a programming language. Now, we chose C++ because it's derived from the granddaddy of programming languages, C, which we'll talk more about later. This class is an introductory class, and you aren't expected to have any prior programming experience. As we learn about C++, we'll learn about problem solving through computer programming. And by the end of the semester, you should understand how to write programs in C++ to solve complex problems, and you should have an idea of what constitutes good programming practices. Now, to determine how well you're learning the material, I'll use a combination of homework assignments, quizzes, exams, and a final project. Now, you will be responsible for all of the information covered through these video lectures, all of the information covered in the book, in your homework assignments, and in the labs. Now let's take a look at our tentative schedule for the semester. You can find the tentative schedule on our syllabus um, within ANGEL. If you're watching this video, then you've already found the course, the CMP SC 101, Section 501, Intro C++ Programming. All of our course will take place here on ANGEL. The uh, course is going to follow chapter by chapter with the book. We're going to start out light. We'll cover the introduction, which just gives a short little history of the C++ programming language. And then the first third, I would say, of the, of the first chapter, um, which will just get your feet wet writing a program, compiling it, and then running it. Most of the chapters we will cover in one week, but there are a couple of chapters. Chapter 1, for example, uh, chapter 3, 4, and 10 that are a bit chunkier, and we'll need more time to cover those. So we'll take two weeks probably to cover those. Now, if the students are, are struggling, if any of you are, are falling behind, um, and it just looks like we need to adjust the schedule, I will adjust it as we need to. You can see on here, uh, exam one will be the week of February 11th to the 17th, that's week six, and on that exam we'll cover weeks one through five. Exam two will cover weeks six through 14. Uh, more information, but I'm not going to go back to the very beginning of the semester and make you restudy all of that material. Homework assignments will typically be assigned right after a chapter. So any homework assignments won't be assigned until we're done with the chapter, and they will be using primarily the information from that chapter. As I say in the syllabus, I do expect that we'll follow this schedule, but may need to make adjustments based on how well the class as a whole understands each topic. Any changes to the schedule, I'll announce those via email or course announcement. Be sure to check your Penn State email and Angel email quite frequently. I do ask you to read over this syllabus. I'm not going to go over everything here. Um, remaining in the course after reading this syllabus tells me that you accept the possibility of changes, the responsibility for being aware of them, and that you agree with the terms of the course. Okay, course prereqs. Uh, two entrance units in mathematics. As far as skills go, you need to have some basic email skills. Uh, for example, how to send and receive email. You need to know how to use a web browser. And you should know how to download and upload attachments in email and in Angel. Grading policy will have two exams worth 25 points each. Your homework assignments will be worth a total of 25 points. 
And the final program will be worth 25 points. Uh, all of that adding up to 100 points. Grading system is a standard uh, plus minus system. You can review that. Exam policy. Uh, exams could include materials covered in the lectures, in the book, in homework, or in labs. Each exam is worth 25% of your grade, and there will be no makeup exams unless you arrange with me beforehand. Academic integrity, I expect you to do your own work. If I discover that a student is being dishonest, cheating, copying, plagiarizing, submitting someone else's work as their own, etc., 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 um, I will have to follow Penn State's policies. Could include an F for the assignment to an F for the course. Disability policy, if you have a documented disability and you need academic uh, accommodations, contact the disability liaison. Um, for additional information, check the university website office for disability services. That covers the syllabus. Uh, in the next video that I'll post, we will dive into C++ and begin developing a program.